Hey everybody, it's me, Lisa T, coming at you with some positive energy. We're reading The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beatty. I'm ready to light up your life with Lisa. All right, so we are doing March 15th, removing the victim. Ooh, victim mentality, that's a good one to overcome. Victim mentality, why is this happening to me? How could this happen to me? It's, we take life so personally sometimes and we think it's happening to us. If you can flip the script in life, you can realize actually everything is happening for you. It's how you look at it. It's all about your perception. So removing the victim, and this is victim mentality. Oh, he did that to me. Why did she say that to me? How did this happen to me? Those kinds of dialogue in your head. Okay. Don't others see how much I'm hurting? Can't they see I need help? Don't they care? There's some other phrases you might say to yourself. The issue is not whether others see or care. The issue is whether we see and care about ourselves. It's all about you. It's all about you and how you're taking care of yourself. It's not up to others. It's up to you. The issue is whether we see and care about ourselves. Often, when we are pointing a finger at others, I often say, if you point one finger that way, there's three pointing back at you. So the issue is not whether others see or care. Okay, the issue is whether we see and care about ourselves. Often, when we are pointing a finger at others, waiting for them to have compassion for us it's because we have not fully accepted our own pain feel it deal with it and heal it we got to accept our own pain life is going to have painful moments it's okay so if we're waiting for someone else to heal that or to fix it or to make me feel better I'm looking in the wrong direction got to look right here so uh, waiting for them to have compassion for us it's because we have not fully accepted our pain we have not yet reached that point of caring about ourselves we are hoping for an awareness in, um, in another that we have not yet had. So we're hoping for someone else to give us something that we have not experienced from within ourselves. Woo! It's not, this, isn't this empowering? Like, and you know you, you have the power to do this work for yourself, to heal. It's our job to have compassion for ourselves. When we do, we have taken the first step toward removing ourselves as victims. So just have compassion for yourself. Don't expect it from someone else, and then you're never going to be disappointed. Oh, okay. Um, so it's that yeah, when we do, we have taken the first step toward removing ourselves as victims. We are on the way to self-responsibility, self-care, and change. It's all up to you. Here's our prayer for this one. Today. I will not wait for others to see and care. I will take responsibility for being aware of my own pain and my problems and caring about myself. Don't expect someone else to make you feel better. Do it from within and you can never be disappointed and never let yourself down. Yes, empowering, Mwah. amazing. Thanks for watching, love you all, have a great day.